In this video, we are going to configure our working environment and explain some things about Manum GL. The configuration of the working environment for Manum C is quite simple. You only have to follow the instructions that I have left in the repository. The only thing to remember is that we have to configure the virtual environment when using Jupyter with VS Code. Now let's see the Manum GL configuration. The first thing is to clone the official ManumGL repository by specifying the 1.2 version tag. Then create a virtual environment and install the dependencies. The first thing I will do will be to remove unnecessary files, since this way it is easier to work. In addition to ManumGL, I will install the .env package, which we will use later. The first thing is to define the initial configurations. Type the following command. Now ManumGL will ask us for several configurations. As we are using ManumGL with virtual environment, then we indicate that the scope is local. Then it asks us for the folder where the exported videos will be saved. I like to define a folder called exported. Then it asks us for the folder where we will store the assets, that is, images, SVG, and audio that we can import to Manum. You can configure it as you like. Then it will ask us where we want to save the temporary files. Temporary files are basically files related to shaders, and also latex files generated when we write texts. I usually define a folder called temp. The final configurations are simpler, there is not much to explain. This will create a configuration file that we can edit later. I will also install this package to prevent Python from throwing me an error, in your case it may be optional. The next thing we have to understand is that ManumGL does not render animations as video by default, but it pre-renders animations using modern GL. This allows you to manipulate the camera at render time. If you hold down the S key, you can move the camera by moving the mouse. With the D key, you can move the angle of the screen. With the Z key and scroll, you can zoom. To return to the initial settings, use the R key. 
To close the modern GL window, we can press Q when the animation is finished. Or we can press Ctrl C to end the window. To make the modern GL window display in full screen, we can use the F flag. Now, if you want the video to be rendered to an MP4 file, then use the W flag or the O flag, along with the resolution flag. The W flag just creates the MP4 file. The O flag creates the MP4 file and also opens the file at the end of rendering. If you want to get the last frame of the animation as a PNG image, you can use the S flag. Something to keep in mind is that some objects, especially texts, look different depending on the resolution, the lower the resolution, the thicker they will look. This does not happen in Manim CE, and in general does not represent a problem, since all projects aim to be rendered in high resolution when the project is finished. To make the process of rendering the videos easier, I am going to use two tools. The first tool is the .env package that allows me to read environment variables. Let's create this file with the following content. This file is going to have these local environment variables that we're going to use in our files. In this part of the code, we are getting the values of the environment variables, and then we are going to run manim with those environment variables. This way we can set the name of the scene we want to render, the video quality, the file name, if we want to show the progress bars, the frames per second and the start of the animation. Don't worry if you don't understand how these flags work, we will have a section dedicated to them. The second tool is Watch Exec, which I explained in the following video. The repository of the course will be this one, it is still under development, but some topics are ready. This way we can render the video every time we save changes to the file. And that's all we need to know to start the course. As I said in the previous video, I'm going to use VS Code for Manim CE and Neovim with Neovide for Manim GL, so don't get confused. Remember that you can support this course through Patreon or PayPal, the links are in the description. In the next video, we will start a new section about the basic attributes and methods of M objects.